when when did you meet your husband? And where? 2007. Do you think that your masculine energy attracted the type of husband that you had? I'll say no, because when I was in love with him, I was just that, in love with him. And when, I, when I'm when i in love with somebody, I'm soft on them. If you don't know him, like, with, without me telling the story, you meet him and you'll think this is just a super good person. I don't know. He just, he just to me, always done weird stuff. Like, he started stealing money. He would uh take my debit card and, like, use it and put it back and then say he didn't do it. So this is your girl, Smart Ass Ash, where self-elevation lasts. And I am super excited about this particular episode because this is our first episode, right? And so with that, we're going to come in. We're just going to go ahead and come in hard, right? I'm a Capricorn, so I'm bringing the Capricorn on first and foremost on this episode. And she is no other than one of my good friends that I got an opportunity to grow up with. And she goes by the name Kiki Flies. So twice as nice. She's here. She's an artist. And we're going to talk a little bit about her story and her music this evening. So, hey, Kiki, welcome hey. to the show. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to yes. be your first show. Your first show. Yes. Right. I'm not going to be the biggest show, though. I'll be the first, but I'm not going to be the biggest. Okay, well, I received that. I thank, I thank you. I thank you for speaking that uh, over me and just even really giving me the opportunity, right? I think it's so great when people see people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. um, I, 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 I've always, I've always seen you. I've always seen your talent um, as Baby Keish, but that's another one. I and just to see where you are now, I'm, I'm stoked. I can't wait to discuss some of your music and even play some of it this evening um, on here before we go over your story, which the story that we got to get into, that drama, like I had to ask you, like I knew that I wanted to start a podcast. I, I planned on starting one. And when you came out with your story, I was like, I want to interview Cage first because <laughs> I, I just knew that it would be, it would just be comfortable for, for me because I know you, right? Mm -hmm. And um, being familiar and just being able to just talk to you. So, super uh, stoked about that. We're going to first talk, before we talk in, about the juicy, juicy stuff, because, it, you know, you're an artist and we got to showcase that. I want to talk about your, your favorite artists, female artists that are rappers. So, can you give me your top three, old school, new school, and it don't matter which order you choose? You sure we can expand this to five, a handful? Oh, Okay. I'll be having okay. more than five, but I can narrow it down to five. Okay, okay. Five for both categories? No, nah, I only got about three good ones. Out. No, you know what? I got five for both. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Go. I I'm ready. Okay, so so number one, old school is going to always be Lil' Kim. Okay. Number two, and it is, it's actually no order, but Lil' Kim going to always come number one, no matter how Flip the sandwich. The bread gonna come first. But Lil Kim, Mia X, the brat, um, Lauren Hill, mm -hmm. Missy Elliott. Mm -hmm. Missy okay. Elliott is a genius. I would love to work with her. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And I think she got added to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yes. Right? So deserving. Yeah. I would, I would, I would say, 
They need to do. They need to give Kim more flowers because she is the blueprint. It doesn't matter what she looks like today. I don't even worry about all that. If they don't know her back end story about her being abused and all that. Then it's, the internet is just a cruel place. I'm prepared for it though. Here, I know you are. They don't know I tussle. I, I oh my God. You come for me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad that you I, I I believe you, Ready. Even when we get into this story and the way that you've handled this, um with your me with your music, right? Mm -hmm. Um yeah, let's let's talk about that a little bit because that's how I, I came to know. So being able to handle the pressure, what do you do with the pressure? Honestly, I pray. Like okay. I guess stuff that's designed to to really hurt me. In this situation, I didn't feel as much as people thought I would or they probably thought I would. I ain't feel it as much. At first Ooh. it stung, but I'm going to tell you why I don't feel it as much. They are bums. I have, I did, see, I sat back and let them do all they was going to do, and I was collecting on them. Okay. And that time I was ready to unleash, like now. I came from a hill place. I already did the pain. I already did the, you know, all of that because for one, it, it they only got to slide away the way they did because I didn't believe these type of human existed because I'm a good person. I don't just say I'm a good person. Other people vouch for me. So I'm not thinking people are this cruel in the world or you could do so much for people and they can hate you. So, so I overlooked a lot of stuff but when I unleashed I unleashed and honestly when I know what they got coming this year right up the street you don't worry about it because they, they're more pressed than any of us are yeah so um on to your music because I, I still wanted to talk about your music before we get into that juicy story um yeah but people have not heard a snippet of it so I know they're inclined to hear more about that. Um, because I know there's people out here too. They be wanting people to get that get back. They be wanting God to spin a block on they on they ops and they enemies too. So I I mean we we totally get that. We gonna definitely for sure talk about that. But even in that, the why we know what the word says too, because it says that um he'll make our enemies our footstool. So let's talk about this elevation. Um and platform that you're experiencing right now with your music. Oh, I forgot to give my my five favorite new school. So, ah. so, 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 my Thank five favorite new school it. is gonna be Cardi B, Cardi B, Cardi B, Cardi B. Not just playing, Cardi B <laughs> for so many reasons. I ha I can't stand the internet. I like how real and authentic she is. The crazy thing is, if you're not real and authentic, they say you fake. If you if Hello. you fake. Then it's a problem. If you're real, it's a problem. That girl didn't come in the game saying she want to be the queen of rap and all that. She really came in and did some numbers that people thought she couldn't do from Love and Hip Hop. I don't care if she write or not. Even though I know she writes, it, you, people are dedicated to misunderstanding people. I promise you, 99% of them artists in the game got writing teams. Even if it's for hooks, they don't write everything. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Any song you pull by any artist, it's going to have some kind of credits there. So she don't write it all, but she writes. She does write some of her music, but I don't even care if she do, do or don't. I like her energy. I like how she's a girl's girl. They overlook the fact that a lot of these chicks that's out, I wouldn't have known if I wasn't following Cardi and she's bumping that music in the car. I didn't know who a Ice Spice was until I heard her. Cardi singing it. Uh, uh, even the girl that hates her, uh, Akbar, she put her on a soundtrack before. So she's Ooh. a girl's girl, but they're so dedicated to misunderstanding her. It's crazy. Um, my next one would have to be um, Lotto because I, she's a Capricorn. I've watched her on the rap game and I saw her whole career transform. So that was that was cool to me. I, I, I be looking at people struggle and stuff and like how hard mm -hmm. they work because I did the same thing. So Lotto, I'm gonna play sneaky there. No, I don't always agree with her attitude and all that, but I cannot take away from her talent. I don't like everything she say or do or all her songs, but she has music that will stick with me. Um, 
the song Come See About Me is a real good song by her. I could put that on repeat. But the song that I love the most is Moment for Life. So so because there are so many moments in my life that I wish I could have had for a lifetime, some days I just mm. ride with that song all day. Just moment for life. Like I reminisce, I think back to the moments I wanted. So Nicki Minaj, I listen to um I don't know if you know who Ken the Man is. I actually wrote her down to ask you about her. I, like I just man. heard her recently. I think he's um, raunchy, but but the the flow is crazy. Like I like her flow. I like how she sound. I like the fact that she named herself Ken the Man. She said I, I seen her say I'm Ken the Man because sometimes some along the lines of she the realest nigga that she know or it was something catchy, but. She's kidding the man, so I like that. Yo, okay, that's good to know because I, I had no idea why she why she was calling herself that. I just got introduced to her about two weeks ago and was loving it. So yeah. Okay. Who else am I listening to? Um I I'm I'm honestly so old that I don't even listen to a lot of new music. Yeah. You okay, so earlier you did talk about Missy Elliott um, and little Kim. Do you feel like they not only pave the way, but do you feel like they have influence um, among like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj specifically? Absolutely. Especially Missy Elliott. And as far as like Nicki Minaj, I will say Little Kim because even though people, um, they'll say it's Foxy Brown, it could very well be. But as far mm. as that style, clothes and all that, that's Kim mm. to a T. The wigs, all of that. And even though I think maybe Notorious B.I.G. created her style. It doesn't matter because it takes a lot of guts and to get out there dressed half naked. If if we didn't have little Kim, we would probably still be walking around in Adidas sweatsuits and shell toes rapping. Like, I'm not taking anything from that era before, like the MC lights. I love them, too. But they were also fully clothed and everything, and they had a message. I'm not saying Kim didn't have a message. But she changed the game. She made it sexy. Yeah. So yeah. I love her. I, she can't do no wrong in my eyes. <laughs> I love that. I hope that uh, maybe one day you get to definitely cross paths with Lil' Kim for sure. Um, shout out to J.P. Rand. He does her hair. Um, and he's okay. from Kansas City. So, oh, yeah. yeah. You're absolutely right. Uh-huh. So, you know, it, we it, whatever whatever we can dream or imagine can definitely happen. I love your reasoning for why you chose the artist that you chose. Um, yeah. Yeah, super dope. Uh, the five and the five. And thank you for bringing me back. We didn't already tell y'all this our first episode. So y'all going to have to oh, yeah. rock with us, okay, as yeah. we work through these uh, <laughs> little and I may have ran yeah. out of room on the list, but I got to throw Rashida in there because it was so okay. easy working hard. You know, like, to be sitting there work at your desk and, and then you're making money. And I was young, too. And I really liked her music. And I was like, I want to do a song with her. And I did just that. And but that it opened part. up so many doors for me. It opened up to where I'm at today. Yeah. I remember that. And I liked I liked that. What year was that? It may have been 2011 or 2012 when I did that song. Okay. So it's been a minute. And with mm -hmm. that being said, how long you been in the rap game, Keish? I'm sorry. I was, since elementary school. I was literally the little kid in elementary school um, rapping to the beats that somebody else's son beating on the table. Um, I know in middle school, that's when I got off into forming like groups. So it was me. I was called Lady K starters lady k it was a bunch of us from school uh my bro his name is james um he was going by rebellion at the time from there i he, oh he told me he was like you're gonna always be my baby sister so we just gonna call you baby quiche and from that day forward as we walk into the landing baby quiche was born it was no more lady k after that i ran into uh I had my bros, Andre, them. They said, we got somebody you can work with. Um, his name is Mark. That's our guy brother or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay, but we could never link up. My cousin started dating, uh, my cousin Kalila, she started dating uh, 
a guy named Little Reg. And she was saying, my cousin rap, you need to listen to her. And he was the first person to take me to the studio, Rest His Soul. And it just so happened that he went to the studio and the person that he worked alongside was the Mark that my bro was talking about. Wow. So we formed together and we were called Camp Frank because his name was Mark Franklin. So it was Camp Frank. I was the only girl. Then we started recording at um, Camp Frank's friend studio and we made it our home studio and, he, and he was his name is Eric. So we started out like in the middle of the garage, no nothing on the walls, no paddings, just literally in the middle of the garage rapping. He's now known as Mid-Range Music. So, so I still have a relationship with him. He's like a brother to me. So watching everybody develop and grow, Little Reg has passed on. I know he'd be uh, a, a, a lot of proud of me right now. But I always give that thanks to him for taking me to that studio. The, a, a real, felt, felt like a real studio. Yeah. Um, then actually, I was, uh, I can't remember his name. Maybe it's Kennard. He went to Grandview with me. He said, I got a studio. So he brought his equipment to my house. And me and my cousin, we wrote songs to beats. I don't even remember where we got the beat from. He set everything up in my house. We are 16 years old rapping about sex. So, but it was a hit. So <laughs> we started performing it. That's how I started to get known off of that one song. What was and that song called? I don't even think we named it. It used to be like, if you want to fuck me tonight, you got to make sure that your money looking right. Yeah, I can't even remember the whole thing. I, I, I'm sure Kalila got a copy of it. She got all, okay. she got the whole vault. But it's just the fact that what the hell was my mama doing? She she owned I was about, I the I, Were you were you having sex? No. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> no. I, uh -uh. Okay. 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 Good. That's why, and then my mama co-signed it, and I'm like, I think that's right. <laughs> what the hell was my mama doing? <laughs> What do you want here at living? And we singing this stuff, this rocky stuff. But everybody started to know us off that song. We burned CDs, passed them out at school. Everybody knew that song. Like it would just be playing. We'd be walking down the street <laughs> and people would be listening to it. But it wasn't recorded good or nothing. Like the quality sucked. But we started performing it at Jamaican G's. <laughs> Our first yes. Time, started yes. performing it at Jamaican G's. And, uh, then when I got with Mark, he started making my beats. So mm -hmm. that's how the catalog started to build. And then um, I would burn CDs. Like at one point in time, I was actually homeless, me and my best friend. I would go to Aldi's and buy a big stack of CDs. And we were staying, we started staying in my cousin's house. She had a computer. It was not that common to have a desktop back then. And we were young. So I'm, I'm using her computer, I'm burning CDs, and in the daytime, I'm getting out, and I'm everywhere, walking and selling CDs, and that's how I made a living. I made sure me and my best friend was straight. We even had the latest Jordans. You could never tell we was homeless or anything. Yeah, wow. That's like my really. first time hearing that. Oh, yeah. We'd be on a Westport on a weekend, selling CDs, everybody else going to the clubs. We down there, we got on Fresh Gear, and we selling CDs. Literally. I love that. We know who else can relate to that. My, one of my favorites, Master P. Oh, so, listen, <laughs> you didn't say you didn't say me in now because I'm crazy I didn't. about that. No, 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 I didn't. But when I'm you start talking about, about that guerrilla marketing like that and CDs and bumping out of the trunk and all of that, like he, they did that for mm -hmm. sure. They did that. So that's they did. that's all, that's where that just put me in the mind of when you said that you was hitting pavement like that. Yes, I'm talking about even when I had ended up with a boyfriend, me and him out selling CDs, like that was my way of getting money. And it, and it worked because people started knowing me all through the city. I started getting um, calls to come perform. So I used to do a block party. I just found some footage. It's so old that I got on a Hollister T-shirt. Um, no stage present. I'm just but people loved me. So the crowd is packed and they got they just they got they focus on me. And I, I used to rap real fast. I could never rap slow. So this is when I first learned to rap slow, but I still had a fast rap in there. And I, I actually screen recorded it from YouTube. But I used to I used to uh, get booked to do this block party on 75th Street in front of the old Marlboro School. Every year, they would put a 
a big stage up, big speakers and stuff, and and get people to come perform, but not just anybody. You had to be like somebody people want to see, and it used to be packed. So let's see. I I used to go and open up for a lot of artists. I know my biggest show to date that I've done was opening up for Two Chains at um, the Sprint Center. Well, the T-Mobile Center now. So the Sprint yes. Center. My manager yes. that I have now, his name is Hollywood. He brought um, that concert there. Two Chains, Juicy J, uh, Tyga. And I got put on that show and I got to talk with him and he ended up you know, we talked about me doing a song with Rashida. He like, well, those are my friends. So he called them or whatever. They vouched for me. We've been working together ever since. Yeah, I love it. And sometimes that's all it takes, right? Is somebody to just vouch for you mm -hmm. um, and, speak on, and just speak up. And so that was another reason I was super honored for you to allow me to do this. You like, yeah, you can. I, yeah, absolutely. I'm like straight up. I love it. Oh yeah, so I'm a real person. That was that was me. You to me that was you vouching for me. You know what I'm saying? Trusting me uh, with your story. So I I really appreciate that more than anything. Um, thanks for going over some of your history with me on um, you know the rap game, how you got in in it, your names, how they've transitioned over the years, and. Yeah. Um, I think that's just super dope, for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. I turned into Kiki Flights because Baby Keish, my manager, was like, we, you, you grown now. We got to do right. something different. But I ain't going to lie. I, have, I used to uh, want to be a madam because I felt like it's so many girls out here just sleeping with, with dudes just for free and all that. So my slogan was, don't do it for free, do it for me. And I just want, want to be the manager. So, so I started... My mama put me up on the Madam Heidi Flies. See, what is my mama doing? Oh, my God. Heidi Flies. And I was when, like, Dang. How old is your mom, Keish? She 55. Miss Flies. Okay. Yeah, she at 16. Okay. Yeah. So, so she, we grew up she together. Survived. She, yeah, she was raising you to survive in this world yeah. as yep. a woman in a man's world, per se. And I'm glad you brought that up, though. Um, because that's really just kind of leading into what I wanted to, to ask you. I wanted to ask you um, specifically, do you think that your masculine energy attracted the type of husband that you had? I'll say no, because when I was in love with him, I was just that in love with him. And when I, when I'm in love with somebody, I'm soft on them. So like, yeah, I'm really a soft person. <laughs> But I feel like you can't show your hand to everybody because people will take advantage of that. Okay. Um, he's a manipulator. I just have to be all the way honest. So I don't even think what I got out of him was, I don't know what was, what was real, what wasn't, to be honest. I've learned so much afterwards that I'm just like, what the hell? He, none of that was fake. Yeah, it was. That led to today. It has to be fake. Mm. Masks fall off, you know? I was genu my genuine self. Like, I don't know if everybody's perception was I was running the show and all this. I'm not even that type of person. Like, I ain't make no moves in my life without consulting him. Like, I'm not a disrespectful person. Yeah, you, you, I can see, I can see the submission, right? I the respect. The, but the when respectful. you disrespect me, and we can't now, you're gonna get a different me, and and I don't know how to bring it back after a while if you continue to disrespect me. Yeah. So Capricorns are known. Um, some of the characteristics I've read about uh, Capricorn women specifically is that um, we kind of have an old soul. Mm -hmm. uh, we're kind of ahead of our time, if you will, for some people. Like we just, you know, and then people will be mad. They always say Capricorns think that God died and left us in charge, which I think that he did. Yeah. He did. If you ask me. like a true Capricorn. Shout out Capricorns. We both on there. We told y'all we were starting in, in we start in, in the year. So start in, in the year. That speaks volumes for me. Yeah. <laughs> that far. So um you say you don't feel like you operated in any masculine energy that attracted your husband. We'll come back to that part because I wanna I do want to talk about 
that um, with some of the things that I've read and some of the things that I listened to when hearing and watching your videos. Um, and I did watch um, 12 of them, I believe. How many are there out? Like 13. Yeah, I believe I, I'm caught up on, on pretty much all of them. Um, 